Everyone says path tracing is the future of rendering and gaming, but most people using Unreal Engine don't really know what it's doing behind the scenes. So today, I'm going to share five things you probably don't know about path tracing. And I promise, by the end of this video, you'll see your renders in a completely different way. First, let's clear up a big misunderstanding. Path tracing isn't real time. While Lumen or regular ray tracing tries to fake realistic lighting quickly enough to run live, but path tracing goes for full physical accuracy. It literally simulates hundreds or thousands of light paths bouncing around your scene to calculate lighting as it would happen in real life. That's why it's slower, but the result is way more realistic than anything real time can do. Second, and this is really cool, Path tracing doesn't calculate global illumination the way most engines do. It creates it naturally, since it's literally following light rays as they bounce. Things like indirect lighting, color bleeding, and soft shadows happen automatically. No hacks, no light bakes, no settings to tweak, just pure physics doing its thing. Look closely at this forest shot. The sunlight here isn't pure white anymore. It's slightly green. That's because light is bouncing off the leaves and carrying their color into the air, the ground, and even the fog. That subtle shift is called color bleeding and path tracing simulates this effect automatically. Third, every single pixel you see in a path traced image is built from random light samples. That's why your image looks noisy at first. Each pixel is only based on a few light paths. But as more samples are calculated, those random results average out into a super clean, realistic final image. More samples mean cleaner results, but also more render time. Number four, path tracing isn't just a game engine trick. It's literally the same technology used in Hollywood movies and Pixar films. Render engines like Arnold, Cycles, V-Ray, and Render Man all use path tracing to create those ultra-realistic shots. The difference is, they render for hours per frame, while Unreal tries to give you something usable in minutes. And finally, number five, Unreal's path tracer basically ignores most of your real-time settings. Things like lumen, screen space reflections, or baked light maps. None of that matters here. Path tracing calculates everything from scratch and even uses its own material evaluation system. That's why your scene often looks different and usually much more realistic when you switch to path tracing. So yeah, path tracing isn't just another rendering option. It's a full on physics simulation designed to give you film quality lighting and realism inside Unreal Engine. And by the way, you might've seen some claims like D5 render talking about real time path tracing, but here's the truth. If the lighting isn't physically accurate, then it's not path tracing. It's just they're tracing their path to your wallet with fake claims. 